Hey guys, today I'm going to introduce a color grading plugin that emulates film look. So it basically turns your digital video into a film like footage. I'm sure you're familiar with the difference of digital cameras and analog cameras. Uh, back in the day, like a couple of decades ago, uh, people would mostly use film cameras that they had a different uh, feel to it uh, compared to the digital video. And it's still up to this day, some uh, major film directors prefer to shoot on film like Chris Nolan and Quentin Tarantino uh, shot their recent movies on film. And uh, many people believe that film footage had a different feel to it and it's more nostalgic and also had better color qualities. In the beginning of this video, I showed you uh, the before and after of my color grading using this plugin and it was done on the footage that I've shot myself using my Sony a7 IV camera. So if you're interested on how it works, be with me for the rest of this video. So this is the plugin's website, it's called Dehancer. And the good thing about this plugin is that you can edit both your photos and videos. So for photos, you can use softwares like Photoshop and Lightroom and uh, for videos you can use literally all popular uh, video editing softwares including DaVinci Resolve, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. To install this plugin on your uh, video editing software you need to download it first so you can get a free trial for the first month and uh, then if you like it you have to buy it if you uh, do it through the link that I've provided down below you can get a 10% discount. There are some good information about uh, how this plugin works and the different features. So there are four main aspects about this plugin. The first is that uh, the, it provides you with some film profiles or up to like 60 different basically filters or lookup tables that uh, when you put them on your footage, you get the instant film look. And uh, also you get film grain, you can, uh, it gives you a great uh, like customization power for all of these aspects, including film grain. Also, uh, you can play around with a couple of very nice effects called uh, bloom and also halation. Uh, so the bloom effect is basically a mystic glow and soft vintage feel uh, for the uh, light sources on your footage. And for the halation effect, uh, it basically adds a kind of a red glow around the light sources. Now let's jump on the Premiere Pro, the software that I use to do my color grading today and uh, go through some of technicalities of how to use this plugin. So as we see on my timeline here in this sequence, I have uh, different clips that I've shot on my uh, Sony a7 IV and also on my drone, uh, which is a DJI Mini 2. And I've used six different film profiles that are quite different to each other to show you the a creativity range that you have the power that you have to customize and achieve the look that you desire so the first thing that you need to do is to select your clip on your uh, sequence and then under the effect tab here go to the folder called film emulation and call uh, choose the enhancer pro and just click and grab it to your footage and then you get to adjust a lot of different parameters and variables and there are numbers and slides that you can choose from to achieve your look that you want. Here on the uh, left top corner of your screen, you see the Dehancer Pro and uh, the main thing is that under the Film tab, uh, you can choose the film profile. Uh, there are like up to 63, I think, uh, film profiles here. For this one, for example, for this footage, I chose Aqua Chrome RSX2. And the other important one is to play with the film grain uh, like options here. So you get to choose the size, amount, resolution, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Personally, I'm not a big fan of film gray, but uh, if you want to be true to the film profile, you have to at least have a little bit of film grain. Just right underneath the film grain, you'll see my two favorite effects, halation and bloom. So just remember, you have to first enable them here. The other great thing about this plugin is that it empowers you to generate a lookup table out of your edits. Uh, but just the point is that uh, with the trial version, you won't be able to do that. You need to buy the full license. I've created a 90 second timeline using different clips shot on Sony a7 IV and a DJI Mini 2. And as I said, I've used different film profiles from the Hanser plugin and I've included the name of each uh, film profile. For example, on this footage, I've used Kodak Vision 3 film look. And uh, it's really interesting, especially about the drones, to see how would drone footage uh, look if it was on, shot on film. 
and uh, just let you know that I've included the before and after of each footage for example this is the before and this is the after and the footage that comes from my Sony a7 IV it's not shot on lock format uh, it's just shot on a standard picture profile just make sure if you want to try this uh, plugin go through the link that I provided down below in the description just to get your 10% discount and support this channel as well thank you for watching this video